Let's begin understanding selection sort. The idea is to move the minimum element through each iteration of this array to the beginning or left side of this array. We're gonna have two pointers, one for the current position in the array and another for the current minimum element in this iteration. What we're gonna ask is seven less than 23. It is, we move the minimum element pointer to that value's index. And now the minimum element holds the value of seven. We move the current position over to the next index and we ask is four less than seven? It is, so we move the minimum element pointer over to that index. We move the current position to the next array index. We ask is 12 less than four? It is not, so the current minimum element in this iteration is still four. We then move the current position over to the next array index. Now we ask is three less than four? It is, we then move the current minimum element to that array index. Now that we're at the end of the array, the minimum element is the value three at index four. So we're gonna swap that with the next available index starting at the beginning of the array. This means we need to swap three with 23. And now we know three is at the correct position in this array. Now we get ready for the next iteration of this array. We move the current position to two and we move the minimum element pointer to index one. It is four less than seven, it is. So we move the current minimum element pointer to index two. We move the current position over to the next index. Now, is 12 less than four? It is not, so we don't do anything. We just simply move the current position over to the next array index. Now, is 23 less than four? It isn't, which means the minimum element in this iteration is four, and we need to swap it with the next available position in the array, which is index one. So we're gonna perform a swap. Four is in the correct position, and we get ready for the next iteration. And we're gonna do this three more times until the array is sorted. Because of the way selection sort works, it is also a time complexity of n squared. You're gonna end up having two for loops whenever you code this to make this work. Congratulations, you just completed selection sort. If you didn't quite understand it, that's okay. Rewatch the video, but this time also do it on paper. I find out that if I also write it on paper, that helps me understand it a little bit better and I can remember what I'm doing, but that's just how I learn. I know you understand how you learn, so you do it your way. Have a wonderful day, and in the meantime, watch this video.